Hi, everyone. This is Douglas Hill for Shooting Architecture. We're going to be discussing perspective correction with Photoshop. One of the most basic concerns in photographing architecture is keeping all vertical lines parallel with each other <clears throat> and with the edges of the frame. Traditionally, this was controlled by using a large format camera, which allowed any lens to be raised in relation to the film without tilting the camera. Perspective correcting lenses were created for use with smaller medium format and 35 millimeter cameras, and photographers who specialize in shooting architecture often still use these lenses to achieve the same results. But these lenses are totally manual, having no automatic exposure or focus controls, and they are expensive. Fortunately, perspective correction can be emulated using features in both Lightroom and Photoshop. And today we're going to be dealing with Photoshop. So let's open up the application. Whoops, that's not the way to do it. There we are. Um, I've selected an image um, taken recently of um, Grand Avenue Towers, um, a project by Frank Gehry across the street from his Disney Hall. Um, and at the moment, um, the uh, crop tool has been selected, but what we want is a, another tool that's bundled with it, which is the perspective crop tool. Now, first thing we want to do um, once we've done that is to make sure that the front image um, is uh, has the same dimensions. Um, or I should say that that when we've made our corrections, we want to make sure that the um, uh, same dimensions apply to um, our uh, our new image file that we're going to be creating. So you want to hit front image, and um, that ensures that uh, the width and the height and the resolution are all the same as they, they were for the original. Now, <clears throat> we're going to drag the cursor across the image plane. And um, uh, these grabbers um, are, are, one thing you can do is you can snap them to the edges. So at the moment, they're anchored at the corners. And we're going to drag um the image in but i mean the, uh, the the these grabbers in using the guides um to give us an idea of um how <clears throat> excuse me how things are lining up to the um uh to the image plane um as you can see it can snap out but if you really want to avoid those uh, nasty little um white wedges that can occur when you don't quite get the um, uh, get this nailed, um, this is the best way to do it. So um, there I've uh, made a correction on the left, and I'm going to do the same on the right. And it's OK if you don't absolutely get it um, perfect the first time, because you can go back and uh, uh, <clears throat> make further corrections. So that looks pretty good. Now we're going to hit return. And there you can see that uh, we're pretty close to having it uh, straight up and down. We use the uh, grid to check this. A little bit larger. And sure enough, those uh, buildings on the left and right look pretty straight. Now, one of the things that's happened is that the building looks, relatively speaking, kind of uh, short. So we're going to actually stretch the um, proportions of the uh, image in order to counteract that and, and give it a, a more um, uh, realistic um, appearance. And in order to do that, we um, are going to change the um, image size. Now, what you want to do um, is disconnect um, or unlink the um, uh, width from the height. We're going to change the height from 4480 in this case. Um, it, it's that that happens to be the native um, size of the um, image file. 
And we're going to make that, let's say, about 5,500. So substantial. But um, I think you'll see that uh, it's well worth it given what will happen to the building. So we click OK. And you can see that the building is much taller and closer to what uh, I remember perceiving about the building when, when I, it was photographed. Now, um, this ha now has different um, uh, uh, ratio between the height and the width. And um, I want to go back to um, the original um, proportions. So I'm going to select the crop tool. And I'm going to um, reframe it. Oops, let me go the other way. And this is a progress shot, so I'm not as concerned about uh, something like the chain link fence in the foreground. This is really um, just about getting the perspective right on the building. And as you can see with this grid even, um, the, uh, the building is, is nice and straight um, and um, has a, a good solid feel to it. Anyway, um, so I've got my framing, I think, where I want it. Let me go a little bit further with that. And hit return. And that's our new framing. And that is how one uh, corrects perspective with Photoshop. This can also be done in Lightroom. It's done more automatically. Um, and uh, one of the things that it's important to keep in mind is that when you're shooting and you know that you're going to want to make these kinds of corrections, that you give yourself um, as much room or a fair amount of room on either side because you are going to be cropping in and you're going to be losing information, um, especially on the left and right. And um, uh, so, whatever you feel like is your angle back up a little bit or zoom out a little bit to give yourself plenty of information so that you can cut into it. That's the process and um, I hope it's helpful to you. Thank you.